If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. We are going to be taking a look at the Malmo decks that did really well this past weekend. Um, Tor Dracula was able to win. Um, <clears throat> Malmo once again, or not once again. Tor Dracula was able to win another regional this season. He's already won. Um, <clears throat> not sure which one, but he already won a regional this season with Mew3. He top four worlds, he top eight in OECIC, so he's definitely on a very nice streak of solid results. Alex, Steven, Mikey, hello, thank you so much for being here. And so he managed to win the whole tournament with Seishen ADP. Good old Seishen ADP. <coughs> a different focus of the deck, though, definitely a different focus of the deck with Seishen. Now uh, we have Intrepid Sword drawing three cards, ending our turn, but if there's any metal energy, we have to attach them. We have Brave Blade as well, dealing 230 damage for three metals, which is pretty good. We have ADP for Alter Creation, GX to deal extra damage, um, 30 extra damage, and also grab an extra prize, especially important against the pesky non-GX decks. And we have Ultimate Ray to power up our people. Um, we have the double or angry combo. We have resource management or angry to put three cards for discard ball on the bottom of your deck in any order. And we have the primate wisdom or angry where you may switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. So pretty nice, um, pretty nice combination there. That or angry goes really nicely with Station because you can have a metal energy in your hand. You put it at the top of your deck and then you use the intrepid sword, and therefore you're guaranteed an extra attachment. And Tor decided to play Energy Spinner over the Guzma Hala in his deck in order to find the Water Energy for Ultimate Creation, Alter Creation, sorry. Um, sometimes in some matchups you don't even need to Alter Creation with a Water Energy, but that way you can also still wish for the Energy Spinner um, after you have research, so your odds of getting the Water are pretty pretty decent. Um, the Research Management Triangle is definitely a great call so that you can beat mail decks by putting back your customs and then um, you're basically out of options there and now it's pretty simple the Dene Jirachi Research Marnie engine. A lot of people have said that Marnie is not that great but I actually think it's pretty like obviously it's not the best supporter ever but it feels slightly better than Cynthia because you get to attack your opponent's hand so there are a few lists posted from Malmo not all of them yet um, so we're gonna be playing with these three decks today the Station ADP and then the Fans Baby Blasphemon deck and then the Ace Place Picaron deck from Malmo Regionals and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we shall see how it goes. Oh, and I'm actually playing against my friend. <laughs> I think I'm actually playing against my friend. Okay, so I would like to go first. I will say that. Um, I will say that um, seeing Malmo, seeing like thinking about Station ADP more, um, playing in a League Cup this weekend, I'm starting to see the merit of going first. Number one, because Mew3 Malmo doesn't seem to be present anywhere, which is a big deal. Um, well, <laughs> I guess I'll save the saucer. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, I can definitely see the... This is actually one of my good friends from Mexico. 
Um, I can definitely see the merits in going first with this deck, especially, but also potentially with other decks. Alright, so we do get an attachment, which is great. On ADP, we also found a Seichen. And, like, I could have dunked. If I had gone second, <laughs> I could have dunked. Uh, but it's okay. I'll just go ahead and attach, and then let's go ahead and... Should I use these two? I feel like I shouldn't just yet. Just for like the surprise factor. There's another Metal Saucer. So now I have three of them. No sides of um, the Energy Spinner. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. We shall see what happens here. Alright, so my opponent immediately plays down the Shrine. We don't know what he's playing. I believe it's gonna be a mirror match. Yeah. It is a mirror match. So we immediately played down the shrine, which I'm not super happy about. Um, because on paper, I'm gonna get the, the altered creation GX down first, right? On paper. And yep. Custom metal frying pan. Alright. So I'll wait for another research. And I guess this could be annoying overall. Yeah, no no ADP for my opponent. The all good hand. The old gold hand, yep. <laughs> That's a pretty nice looking hand, isn't it? Alright. So I get another metal energy. Um Alright. So I really would like to dig, I guess, for the metal, right? I mean for the water, not the metal, sorry. So I only need to KO two stations. So we're gonna go ahead and cherish ball first. For the Denny. Right, I don't mind occupying my full bench. I will save not with that ability. <laughs> I will save the metal saucer because it seems like my opponent's gonna go into a very heavy um, counter, like I KO him but then I GX and then he immediately wants to try and kill me. Okay, so I do find the energy spinner which is great and I definitely want to play the Marnie because he has a humongous hand. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> yeah, he's disappointed at the fact that I'm going to be attacking his hand. And <laughs> he's not happy about it apparently. I don't I do draw three of my eight metal energies. Definitely keeping the custom getter right there, and there's one in the discard pile, so I only have one metal energy left. And we will go ahead and alter creation. So this hand it's good, but it's nothing spectacular. Because Kelly Jirachi doesn't really help me at all. At all. Um, Kevin Station does, right? Kevin Two Stations is probably my game plan. And thanks so much for the follow, Nathan. I mean, oh no, for, for the subscription. I'm guessing that's on YouTube. So, because it didn't show up on channel Twitch. And hello, Nicolas. Congrats on Top 8. Congrats on Top 8 in Malmo. <laughs> I was super happy that you, when I saw your, your picture there, or your name there, rather. All right. All right, all right. Okay. There's the research. Did the, did the card we talked about help you get there? Was it ever useful, Nicholas? All right, so we are getting heavily damaged here. Which, I don't mind this too, too much. Well, okay, actually. Ooh. Oh no, this is fine, I guess. Because I go down, no, I should have touched here. That was a great top pick. I go down going into my turn. I am down two metal saucers though. 
So we're gonna have to find the other two. But it's gonna be tough here. Definitely gonna be tough. Don't wanna top take this. And I have one Metal Saucer prize, so that's really bad. Alright, I still need to do this. I need either him to whiff. Because there's no way to save my my ADP. Right? My ADP is going down, my opponent will probably be taking 5 prizes next turn. So there's a Metal Saucer, that's really good. So now I only need to find one Metal Saucer. Off of Spellish. Not the easiest task though. Not the easiest task. Alright. <laughs> Sean, yeah, the, this video, I'll try to get it up today, okay? Oof, that Marty's gonna be harsh. Unless he wins, right? Um, thank you so much, Sean. Enjoy Doctor Who. Definitely, definitely hang out with the missus. And I will see you... Um, I will see you. Yup, there it is. Yikes. So I have one turn to win. And I know one Metal Saucer is at the bottom of my deck. Um... Yeah, this, I'll try to get this on YouTube as soon as possible, right? Okay. Um, so I have one turn to win, otherwise I lose. My opponent is going to take five prizes right here, that's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Alright. Yep, and then in between turns, my ADP goes down, and all my opponent needs is a switch. A switch gets him the win. So I need to win right here. I need to win. I need to discard whatever I top deck. I need to custom catcher. I'm looking for specific cards. Uh, that is actually something I do want to play because I'm so low on energy. Yep, and there's a two metal saucer, so it all depends on this. On this, basically. So I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll draw one. I'll definitely get rid of that. I'll do this because I could get switch and get another Jirachi to dig. So we're looking at the next seven. I have 13 left. I do find two acrobikes, so as long as I don't find double metal saucer. In one of the acrobikes, I should be fine. The acrobikes help digging so much. That's insane. Like the acrobikes basically made me get down to to almost guaranteed with um, with the Stella Wish. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the metal frying pan would have helped last turn, but I had no way to find it at all. So not a big deal. Um, there were not many goons in Junior's League Lands, okay, but there were some, right? Alright, GG. Um, I probably played very well, the Shrine, like, actually, I'm not sure if he planned the match or not, but it ended up working out really nicely, where he put himself in a situation where if I didn't win, he would win as long as he had a switch, which was much easier to find than what I had to find. Um, but shuffling the deck there was the key, because one Metal Saucer was definitely at the bottom, um, but yeah, uh, Nicholas. Uh, um, <laughs> and then my opponent immediately messaged <laughs> messaged me that I got lucky. <laughs> um, Nicholas, for now, because I need to to get back on track with YouTube videos and stuff. Um, I will I will only play the ladder, okay? But if you want to try and hit me in the ladder, then definitely join up. Okay, um, alright, uh, I'm going first, and this is a pretty good hand to GX turn 2. I don't know what I'm up against, but it seems like it's Pikram. Um, but yeah, having the water there is so nice to see. So, so nice to see. Alright. Alright. So, oh, having that custom is not ideal. Well, it's not the biggest of deals against this deck, I guess. I am going to... Go ahead and save the Metal Saucer, though, by grabbing this Rangroom. 
and I'll just go ahead and save them in the software, hopefully, right? Well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's fine though, it's fine. Ooh, I did not get... I got another Metal Saucer and I did not get a single Metal Energy. And I have three Metal Saucers in my hand, but no way to search for energy. Uh, this is a little awkward for sure. This is definitely a little awkward. I did indeed choose to go first on legs. That was my... Um, that was my... Um, that was my um, that was my revelation from this weekend. Yeah, that maybe with this deck you do want to go first, and maybe I'm still not a hundred percent sure. But yes, I will give you that. Um, <laughs> I will give you that. Right. So there's an Electro Power. There's a Volkner. Okay, we should be fine here. I really needed a metal though. <laughs> I really needed a metal. Alright. Quick ball and lightning. So I imagine my opponent's gonna dig with the Denny. Or try to at least. If he gets turn one full blitz and I don't get turn two alter creation checks, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. A lot, a lot of trouble. Hopefully that's not the case though. Henry, thank you so much. Thank you so much. 23 months, almost two years of support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. <laughs> How are you doing, Henry? How are you doing? What happened to the music? Is it too lo-fi? All right. No metal energy, no way to find it either, other than debit changing, but that means losing another metal saucer. Yikes. And if I debit change that, I don't have space for conversation. I don't think I can afford to debit change this hand away. Definitely can't afford to research it away. Oof, big, big move here. Um, the skateboard is irrelevant. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the church, I guess. And I'm gonna do this for the other ADP. Should I just. Should I just. No, because I lose stations as well. Ah, but if I don't GX this turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I have one more station left. Oh, there we go. Nice of you to show up. Now I need to switch. These two are a pretty big deal though. Unless this guy survives, then it's fine. Okay. I put it surprised at my debit change. I'm gonna just go ahead and Marty here. <clears throat> Come on, switch. Oh. Yikes. No switch, no stadium. Well, uh, I've been sick, Henry. I've been very sick, but I am fine now, I'm sure. Like, I still have a little, a few boogers in my nose, but that's pretty much it. 
That's pretty much it. Alright, there we see a Volkner. There we see a Volkner. There we see it. The Coco. Yeah, so there's no way my opponent works this scale. The question is, what do I do in response? And the issue is, like, I didn't have a medal. If I had a medal, I would have just GS'd. Because I'm fine just carrying these two for the win, right? But... I'm basically gonna need this guy and this guy to survive. 270 HP, minus 10, that's 260. I get stamped, not the biggest of deals. I really have what I want on board. I keep drawing these metal saucers. <laughs> I keep drawing these metal saucers. Water energy is such a waste now. Okay. So let's promote that guy. I guess we're triple acrobiking here. Um, definitely keeping the customs because I only have like, the skateboard and the absolute there, it's not super useful. Definitely keeping the shrine, even though it hurts me to discard that. And definitely keeping the station because I already have two stations in the discard pile. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime it with some the metal saucer. I will find a metal energy. We'll play this. And I will GX. Alright. So it comes down to does my opponent KO my AEP? If he does. I'm gonna be in a fair amount of trouble, especially with three metal saucers now gone. If he doesn't though, but he only needs two electro powers, he's down one. Uh, either needs two electro powers for this GX or one electro power for this GX. As long as he doesn't like get the tackle GX KO. Well he could win this turn, I guess. He actually could win just by GX KOing this guy. We're hoping that won't happen though, but we'll see. Am I going to Toronto with Toto? I I don't know yet. The real answer is I don't know. Um, I feel like going to flying to Cops and going to Costa Rica and then Collinsville. Like I, I haven't felt great, um, like health wise. So I think it's important for me to to be a little more careful with my health. And so this this weekend I have the option to go to Toronto where it's very cold, to go to Guatemala where it's very hot, or I could go to um, or I could go to uh, just stay here, play some league cups, and a challenge, play soccer, which I love. So I'm not I'm not a hundred percent yet on what I want to actually do. Okay, so. I will get to power up stuff, which is great. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Primate Wisdom the Custom Nature, because now if I get a KO on a Jirachi, that would be fantastic. Or on the Absol, that would be fantastic. And I will. Because I need three and four prizes, right? I am down my Custom, but I still have my Great Catcher. That's really good. Um, could be the Jirachi, honestly. Oh, wait. If I do this... Yeah, I'll go after the Jirachi. Oh, now he, just, he could just GX me for the win. Oops. Maybe this wasn't the greatest plan. <laughs> Maybe this actually wasn't the greatest plan. Okay, I'm gonna do this in case I get reset stamped. The Great Catcher is in there, so... If my opponent doesn't win next turn, I'm gonna win. I think. And I do have three medals, so I'm just gonna attach um, two. Like, I leave two with each, so that way I have this one medal to power up. There's another metal frying pan. There's a research. <coughs> yeah, as you can see, I'm still coughing a bit, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just skip this weekend for my own health. 
Yeah, and maybe go to Charlotte instead. I don't know. Okay, there's the energy. Do we just see tax switch? Walkner for tax switch KO? Yep. All right. I mean, I had no way to KO though. Like I was hitting 260, minus 20, that's 40. And then, oh, I did have the KO. Oh my God, I did have the KO. No, I, I didn't get the KO actually. Mm -hmm. Cause I was done my metal saucer. I guess I could have saved him. I don't know. I played that. I didn't play that horribly. I just missed the turn to GX attack. Despite starting ADP and water, which is like the tough part, right? <laughs> and going first. So it's fine. Like I, I probably misplayed that in, in the late game. Probably misplayed that a little in the late game. Um, I'm not sure, like. Because if I didn't get an, an attack off there, and then my opponent GX KO'd my station, I was down all my metal saucers, so what do I do then? I guess I KO'd something with ADP on the bench, maybe. I don't know. Probably played that not ideally or not optimally. Okay, so we are going second this time around. I will start ADP because I could just GX for a single metal, which might be good enough against Vikram, honestly, which I assume this is based on the sleeves. Oh, this should be fine. This should be fine. All right. Opinions on Welder, Mewbox, Daniel. I mean, it's obviously a really good deck still. It won OCIC. Um, it didn't get top eight in... Wow, what? It didn't get top eight in... Um... Do I just GX here? Nah, I'm just gonna Intrepid Sword. Because if I find the water, that's even better, right? Like, I gain nothing by GXing here, and then my opponent attacking into me, and then I need to attach again. So, if, like, GXing this turn or the next, there's no... not that big a difference. Alright, there's the Picarum. We're gonna see an attack. There's a power plant for my opponent. It's got an electro power. You could see just like a psi power, depending on what my opponent draws. Cynthia Caitlyn, Cynthia, power plant, and the Denny though, so it's a very strange list, not gonna lie. Yeah, and we just see a psi power. I am okay with that. <coughs> Definitely don't mind that too too much. Definitely don't mind that too too much. <laughs> All right, puts all the damage on the ADP. I do top deck a metal. I'm gonna go ahead and play this, honestly. I think it's fine. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and Marty. If I find the water, great. If I don't, then that's fine too. And I do find the water. Awesome. My opponent sends me a heart. My opponent sends me a heart. There's the water. Um, one custom prize. One quick ball prize. I have played nothing, so it's easy to figure out. One mark, my other Marty is prized as well. So there's my water, and I'm just gonna go ahead and ultra creation. You know, my opponent might knock me out, which would be problematic. Actually, quite problematic. In fact, um, so we'll see. Let's see Coco. Okay, Cynthia, so my opponent needs um, a Quick Ball or Thunder Mountain. Power Plant, that's okay. I don't mind that at all. There's Coco, so he will get the attack off. He still needs, because he bumped the Shrine, he needs double Electro Power to KO me now, though. Alright. Alright. A simple full blitz. I am completely okay with that. Because that allows me to power up here. Which is great. I won't be needing this or Andrew. I will acrobite, however. Um, I'll put the energy in the this card, you know. I'm, like I'm not gonna fit a change. 
Okay, I'm definitely not touching here to power up. And thanks so much for follow, tight. Um, so do I even want to bench anything here? Like, I, I wouldn't mind benching this as a pivot, honestly, because what happens? I attack, he takes three prizes, and I knock this guy out, and then he knocks me out, and I still need another station. So I might as well get some use. Yeah, and I don't mind. Well, I couldn't do it with it, so never mind. I definitely forgot about the fire plant, but that's okay. Because I wasn't planning on it. I was gonna decline. I promise. <laughs> I promise I was gonna decline the use of that. Um, wow, and I even got double custom, so now this is just basically game over, I feel. Now this is just basically game over. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a station. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this onto the axle. And then I'm going to... Yeah, I'll play it on the metal saucer for sure. Here, it doesn't really matter. And then I'll ultimate ready for the KO. That was very lucky that I got double custom right there. And then just attach one, two... That should be 100% safe, right? Should be with the metal frying pan. 250 HP, I mean, two, 220 HP, reducing 30 damage. Um, my opponent will need triple, triple electro power? No, double electro power with this GX. He wouldn't need any electro power with this GX. But does require attack switch. So we should be good. We should be good. Alright. Alright. Wow. Oh, I was like, oh my gosh, he does have the costumes, but no. So what is my opponent's plan here? He gets five prizes, sure. Huh? This is enough, right? That's game. That's game, right? I'm not missing anything. 260 minus 20, 240. Already has 10. I take four prizes, yeah. I was very confused, I was like, wait, am I missing something? Did I forget about something? No, not quite, not quite. All right, so yeah. <coughs> Torch deck, pretty good. Um, I think both versions, the Tackle and the Energy Spinner have their merits. Um, Torch with the four Acrobikes is definitely very consistent. Um, the other lists are very consistent as well, and you can either have the Acrobikes or you can have the bench space to have like Absol and Fion and a lot of tech beat cards. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty solid deck for sure. That will be all for Torch deck. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you are live with me on Twitch, don't go anywhere, I will be right back so that we can take a look at our next deck, which is Stefan Ivanov's Baby Plus Cephalon deck. Be right back.